Good morning, dear doctors, dear mentor, dear colleagues. We are team Akpanyan Martin, and our group is made of four members. I am Mrs. Kwaku, but for this project, my nickname is Grace. Mrs. Indri, La Fleur, Mr. Leba, his nickname is uh, John and uh, Gwese Modesta. Gwese Modesta. Thank you very much for coming. And we are here today to present the result of our work. Since uh, last year, February, in February, we started uh, a project with a GCRF for us to understand our student difficulties, find solutions to help them, self-evaluate, and uh, reinforce our teaching skills. We went from a general observation, that is our students frequently ask for translation during, the, uh, during English lessons. That led us uh, to explore the use of a translation in uh, an English class. Our contest. Our contest, our school is uh, the grammar school of Martin, one of the biggest uh, schools here in uh, Dabouf. And about our learners, for this project, our learners are from lower six literature section and lower six science section. And we have about 60 students per class. Our English learning fit within the curriculum. At this level, we could talk about the number of hours the students have per week. Also the coefficient, the skills that the students learn. Concerning the number of the hour, we have a three hour per week for both classes, for the literature class and also for the science class. But the coefficient is different. For the literature class, the coefficient is four. And for the science class, the coefficient is two. We must also say that our students learn the four skills, speaking, reading, listening, and writing. English is also an obligatory subject here in our campus. The coefficient represents or uh, is uh, the, the value that is uh, assigned to each school subject here in our contest. The weight, the value. Okay, and for the literature section, uh, it is uh, four, and for the and for the science session, it is uh, two. And the impact of that is uh, that the student chose to concentrate on the subject with a higher coefficient that they, that they consider as uh, the major subject. And then uh, the teachers in uh, science classes or uh, math uh, have uh, some techniques to motivate a student in a science classes. Otherwise, the student may not attend this class. Starting point our puzzle focus on. We went from the observation that during our lesson, students frequently ask us to translate some words and that led us to this puzzle. We wonder why our students always need translation during the learning process. And many questions guided our 
exploration. And uh, Gwese, Modeste, is going to talk about uh, this point. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, thanks so much, Grace. Thanks to the audience for listening so far. Uh, as you can see, uh, from our puzzle, there are many concerns uh, that were raised. And the first one was, why do students need translation in the learning process? The second one was, why do they want the teacher to translate? Uh, the third one, when do the student think translation is important? And how do the student want the teacher uh, to translate? And afterwards, some questions were also addressed to teachers. The first one being, what does the teacher translate? When does the teacher translate? And how often does the teacher use translation? So then to explore all those issues, uh, there were our students and the teachers. So both parties were engaged. I mean, the student and the teachers were engaged. And uh, as you can see, for each concern, there were a way of gathering information. So the first question, that is why do they need translation? We use a questionnaire. And for the second and the first question, there were a questionnaire, a peer observation, and co cooperation, collaboration with other colleagues uh, on Japanese to share the experience. Okay. Okay. Good. Now, coming down to the tools, uh, we use two tools. We use a questionnaire and a teacher observation session. So as you can see in the chart, the answers didn't appear, okay? But uh, for the first question, why do the student need translation in the learning process? Uh, it's kind of that the student, the student needs translation because they think that translation is easy for them to understand the lesson. It's facilitated comprehension. And why do they want the teacher to translate? What, I'm sorry, what do they want the teacher to translate? They want the teacher to translate difficult words in the test, instruction, and uh, grammar points, okay? And when, I mean, the moment do they think that translation is necessary? Uh, they think that translation is necessary during grammar, vocabulary, and uh, instruction setting. Okay. And the way the teacher translates, they prefer the teacher to translate orally and uh, uh, in a written way. Okay, so we continue. Yeah. Okay. So the second tool we use was the peer observation. So for the peer obse observation, we, we design a chart, as you can see on the board. It looks like a lesson plan, but uh, actually it's not a lesson plan. It's a chart that shows the unfolding of the process of teacher observations. There are many stages. You can see the introductory phase, the input phase, and the activation, okay? But 
in the end, we notice that uh, when, for example, in the introductory phase, students couldn't answer questions because they, don't, they didn't have the appropriate language to do so. Okay? And in the end, we found solution that uh, will be explained by my colleague afterward. Okay? We're not going to explain all those here. Okay, let's go. Okay, you see? Uh -huh. And the following chart is uh, a template, an observation template that were designed by Dan Slauti. Okay. In this uh, template, as you can see, we had two parts. The third part that is concerned with the requirements, what students are expected okay, to do and what the observers are expected to see the observer doing. On the left part, you can see figures ranging from one to three. Those figures are uh, a kind of assessment that we give to uh, each part. For example, for the group of pair work, we, we gave one because when we were observing the teacher, the, the student couldn't meet the requirement here, okay? And for example, the last one concerning English use throughout the task, we noticed that the student couldn't use uh, English throughout the task. They use L1, okay? So for each part, there was a tick, but we didn't find it interesting to put it here, okay? Okay, and what all did help us to understand? Okay, okay. for that, I'm going to let uh, my colleague, okay. Mr. John, yes. to continue. Okay, thank you to Mr. Guise for your intervention. And then, Okay. What did this help us to understand? Okay, we took a sample of a class with 60 students. With 60 students, okay, they are from lower six literature class, and then only and 60, 60 voluntarily answered. This exploration helped us to discover that almost all the students think that translation is important in their learning process. We understood that 60 out of 62 students need translation because they don't know some words and expressions. Only two students thought that translations make students lazy. In addition, they want the teacher to translate instruction and grammatical structures to make them less difficult, both orally and in writing, so that they can understand the lesson and complete the different task. Another important point we understood is that when translation is used during a lesson, it makes students more confident, less confused, and set a stress-free atmosphere in the class in order to complete the different tasks. Also, students seem to be interested in the lesson when translation is used. Furthermore, we understood that teachers rarely use translation during the lesson, except when students ask a translation form for some abstract vocabulary items and to make instruction clearer. We notice that as teachers, we have much to do to reduce the use of translation during the lesson. We also notice that in addition to ask for translation, students frequently use L1 
during the lessons to interact. So understanding led to more question. This process weighs a new puzzle. We wonder why our students resort to using L1 in our contest. So how did we explore? Okay. okay, we explored this puzzle by reading an article, the use of translation within communicative language teaching in an EFL. EFL, okay, means uh, EFL means English as a foreign language. Okay. The contest theoretical foundations and framework for practice activities by Inspector Kwadio Jaussier Apia. Also, by reading an observation template from Dan Slauti. Okay. Questionnaire for students. Why do you use L1 to interact? And then student answered, because English is difficult. When do you use L1? During pair and uh, group work. Our exploration led us to planning for action. Okay, thank you. Our understanding led us to planning for actions. How did we proceed? Thanks to our observation, we noticed that student want translation during interaction or during the lesson because teachers failed to give them, to provide them with the necessary language to interact during, for instance, group work. So we suggested the teacher, the observee, to provide the student with classroom language and language function to help them interact in English and reduce both the use of L1 and translation. We suggested the student, the teacher, we observe to teach some reading skills to help them understand that it tests to, to help them understand it, the test as far as reading is concerned and answer comprehension questions to give time to students to train or practice the structures before the activity they have to, to do. Now, what are the actions based on our understanding? So in practice, we taught the learners some classroom language. We provided the learners with reading skills so that they can comprehend the test even when there are some unknown words because a word is understood in a context. We applied this in upper six literary session and the results were positive more than 60% of the learners could answer the question in comprehension, which, they make them, which made them confident and uh, which helped them answer, really. For instance, we taught them uh, the use of uh, um, topic sentences we taught them that a test is made of many paragraphs and each paragraph contains a specific idea, 
about the major topic the test is dealing with. And when they have understood what each paragraph is about, they can have a global view on the reading test and then answer, be able to answer even when they do not answer some, some difficult words, they, they do not comprehend some difficult words. And we went into a class to observe uh, a trainee. Uh, at the beginning, the, 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 the kids uh, during group work, during the, the activation phase, they used L1. When we ta taught him to use, to, to teach them uh, classroom language, uh, in another class, the results were positive. Almost all the kids were able to interact in English. And then our conclusion is that as uh, teachers in an EFL contest, it, it would be uh, a dream to think that we can completely get rid of translation or uh, the use of L1, but at least we could provide the kids, our learners with uh, uh, techniques, strategies, so that they can be confident and avoid the use of L1 or uh, the use of translation during the lesson. Our perspective, because we think that this is an ongoing process. Uh, we are completing the project today, but we think that we have to share the experience we have had during this project with other teachers who, didn't, who, who were not lucky to take part in this uh, uh, project we have to share our experience with them so that all the students in our school can benefit from the result of this uh, project. And we will be going using all the strategies. We have discovered all our findings. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Nice.